my teammate actually tried to hit me off the ledge with an impact grenade and kill me. This is Fortnite at its best. <laughs> oh my gosh. Hey guys, real fast, comment of the day coming in from this man right here. If you guys would like to enter in for comment of the day, go ahead and comment down below. Enjoy the video, guys. Hey guys, I'm Lucky my back here for the video, guys. Welcome back to another Fortnite video. Guys, this video is actually pretty entertaining just for the sole fact that this was actually us goofing off in this game. We did not have any intention to win this game. We just were goofing off back and forth. Obviously, our one teammate, uh, Serious Pickle, right away took in, uh, took in, got hurt and dies very quickly in this game. So, it was like, you know what, let's just goof off and have fun. Um, now, the issue was my one teammate ended up getting a bush. And then PJ ends up getting a bush, and then I end up getting a bush. So, you saw the intro clip as I showed you guys. Pretty much, he tried to boost me off the mountain and end up fluffing up and hitting my teammate off the mountain. So, that was pretty entertaining. Nonetheless, though, the bush, if you guys do not play Fortnite, it's a, a costume you can wear. You can uh, find it in a drop, and you pretty much look like a bush the whole entire game until you take damage. Now, the issue with it is it kind of annoys me and ticks me off because it is just so stupid and, un like, it it's the worst disguise ever. I mean, you see a giant bush running across the field. It's the easiest giveaway to that you're there. It doesn't help you at all. But, of course, you know... It's a fun troll thing to use. So both of those guys got bushes. And I ended up finding a bush later on in the game. So I was able to actually go ahead and troll a little bit myself. Which is always fun. As you guys do not know. I do love. I love to win Fortnite games. I currently have 8 wins. Uh, which is not good at all. I know I should have a lot more. But I love to troll more than I love to win. And that is honestly a gift and a curse at the same time. So if I can troll someone and lose a game. I'd rather troll someone and lose than win it and be all serious seriousness. Because at the end of the day this is a game. And I'm trying to have fun. So with that in mind, we go ahead and after we go to the motel, we go ahead and move on to Fatal Fall. Oh, sorry, Anarchy. And this is when I find the... Well, this is when PJ finds his bush. And he ends up rocking it and moving around in it. Same thing with my other teammate. As Serious Pickle is now Serious Dead. So with that in mind, we go ahead and move on to here. And you see I am rocking with... Every gun I possibly could want. The only thing I would want outside of this would be a sniper or a grenade launcher. Maybe a rocket launcher. But a silenced pistol, a three round burst, and a crossbow is definitely a very, very nice start. Could not ask for anything better right there. Now, grenade wise, I'm kind of iffy with these grenades. Now, impact grenades, very, very nice. These grenades, I'm kind of iffy about because... They don't do too much damage, and I also usually don't like to carry them for too, too long distances. Unless I'm in a fight, I, then I'll go ahead and, you know, carry them. But if I'm not in a fight, I kind of move on from them. So with that in mind, we're going ahead and just looting here. And this is actually when I'm starting to realize more and more, no matter where the bus comes in, people really don't fluff with Anarchy. Which I'm actually really surprised because this is an actual very, very good location to start off. If you start off the motel with the umbrella mines and then you go ahead and move to your right to Anarchy. This is actually a very good strategy I've been using a lot now to go ahead and get some dubs. And it honestly works almost every single time. So moving on right here, this is when I go ahead and get my bush. And I'm able to actually go ahead and join the, uh, I'm just going to call it the bush club. Um, and you see right here, this is like a costume, guys. So, I go ahead and I move back up with PJ, and then the intro clip ends up playing, where he ends up trying to boost us off the mountain, tries to boost me off the mountain, fails, and hits our teammate. So, our teammate does also have a bush, so yes, it's three bushes all playing together, which, oh my gosh, I can just imagine, if I'm a, you know, if I'm in the final, like, let's say, ten people... And all three of the guys I'm looking at have bush, all bushes. It's just uh, the 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 mind numbingness of it is just amazing. So as you can see, he's over there with being a bush, and then my other teammate is behind me, who is also a bush. So it was kind of interesting though, because a teammate tried to kill himself to salt this game. He actually went ahead and uh, grenaded himself, and I had to go ahead and get him, pick him back up. So. It was a nice way to start 
off with the fact that our teammate actually tried to go ahead and end the, his game early. So, <laughs> I still can't believe the fact that we're all bushes. This is definitely something I never thought I'd say in this game. That we were all going to, you know, be bushes at the same exact time. But, again, this game was more of a goof-off game. More than actually playing serious and trying to get a kill. Or, sorry, try to actually win the game. As you see, I have zero kills right now. So, starting off right away, we go ahead and go up on top of the tunnel actually pretty set on ammo in all honesty and i'm pretty happy for that reason because not many times in games am i actually set for ammo and for resources but this one time i actually was so right here i end up going ahead and trying to annoy him even more so he ends up trying to impact grenade me and try to boost me off the mountain and he ends up failing and you see we end up hitting our teammate off the edge of the mountain and yeah he ends up taking a lot of damage from that which i'm not gonna lie was probably the funniest moment i've ever had in fortnite the fact that we almost killed some we almost killed a teammate because he my my own teammate tried to kill me so Always very fun. And you see right there. He didn't have a bush at that time. He lost a little bit before that. I believe he grenaded himself again. Which I really don't understand why. Um, but we end up going to the right here. And going toward that shrine. At first I'm thinking about that shrine. And I'm like eh. Probably looted. So we go toward depot. Because we see people. Now this is a strat of just staying in the mid, standing in the middle of the field. And hoping no one ends up coming up to you and shooting you. Which is never a good idea. I end up going down here. here. I was kind of scared I was going to lose my bush. But I end up not losing my bush. <sighs> sorry, sorry guys. It's just, the fact of the matter that we're all bushes just did not work out in my favor. I'm, it's just, it was very weird. So... As you can see now, they're and th those guys in Depot end up fighting with guys to the right hand side of them. So they're fighting back and forth, trying to kill one another. And we're literally freaking bushes walking up to Depot. Probably a team of eight, probably eight different people. And we're just walking up and I end up, we end up sitting right here, right next to all that loot you see. Because honestly, if we don't move, they won't find out we're here. So... I decided to sit here for a little bit and then I decided to go ahead and push after a bit because PJ saw them going to the left hand side. So we thought okay we can get some loot there and we can go ahead and push them a little bit. So we end up pushing them as you can see. He ends up going through the left side and our teammate just runs right in there. Ah, some, some teammates in this game guys truly amaze me. <laughs> But we end up going ahead and pushing a little bit. And you see right here. He ends up getting killed very, very quickly. I end up going ahead and taking down the first guy. Second guy, I'm not able to kill. I just wanted to go ahead and get this kill. I'm not going to lie. I really wasn't about the life. I ended up knocking them both down. But I w really was not about the whole life of trying to go ahead and win this game. Again, this was our goof off game. To just go ahead and try our best to be able to... You know, get just mess around and have fun. And it ended up working out to our favor. We had nine people remaining. At the time, I had two kills, you see. Because I killed both of those guys. This time, I decided not to go in the bush. I'm not going to lie. It wasn't... I wasn't about the bush life there. I, I definitely felt like, you know, I needed to give the bush a break. And the fact that we might actually win this game also kind of made me happy. So, we have six people remaining just like that, guys. And we'll actually... In a pretty good situation. Balling on the fact that we just. Bushed our way through the whole entire game. And goofed off. We actually have 5 people remaining. And there's an actual chance of us actually going ahead and getting this dub. So real fast. PJ ends up dropping me a med kit. To sort this off. And again. We were just kind of just you know. Healing up. Fixing ourselves. Kind of deciding where we're going to go on from here. And you see right here. 2 people remaining. Everyone pretty much just killed each other and we were just chilling here trying to go ahead and bandage up and fix ourselves. And we have two people remaining now and we go ahead and look over this white, uh, you know, hill. PJ ends up seeing both of them. They're both one shot, both very low XP, about like five each. So he ends up just going ahead and shooting both of them and killing them. And we go ahead and get the dub. So a game we pretty much were goofing off the whole entire game. We end up going ahead and winning. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys in the next one. Peace out.